your day to day? Uh, Tim Compton, I'm the Adult Programs Manager at Indianapolis Arts Center, and day to day, um, my role primarily focuses on managing the six studio chairs that manage all of our different studios across 13 different media. Um, so, in terms of arts education um, and arts ed week, uh, what has arts education done for you in your life personally? Um, and what opportunities has it given you that you might otherwise not have had? I would say that probably the biggest impact that arts education has had on me personally is that I met my wife while we were studying art education at Ball State University. And so um, we were in the same classes together as a pretty small group. And uh, that was where we first met. And it's been really interesting uh, working side by side with someone uh, throughout arts education as we've been able to compare notes and compare roles, um, see how different people can see the same art mentalities or the same classroom management strategies from different angles and really get uh, a more complete feel of how different people approach arts education. And so when I'm thinking about, you know, elements and principles posters that we're going to put in the studios, I'll run those past her and say, you know, you're looking at this from an elementary standpoint and I'm looking at it from an adult education standpoint. And how do those two things compare? And, and what's always so intriguing to me is how similar they are, how similar it is that um, no matter the age, no matter uh, the background, people can still hone in on a lot of the basic principles of art uh, and learn quite a bit and become better because of it. And as far as uh, what, what we're doing well to prop up arts education culturally, um, what do you think could be done there uh, to improve the experience um, it, it, for Indianapolis or for you know, uh, the larger culture? Um, what do you think we're doing well and what do you think we um, could be better at? I think one of the things that we're doing really well at and, and one of the things that we think quite a bit about is that the average person comes out of um, primary school with uh, sort of a, a middle school uh, art education knowledge. And so uh, a really important part is meeting people where they're at, regardless as to whether they're 18-year-old, 30-year-old, uh, or 90-year-old. And so one of the things that we work really hard at here is engaging the community by meeting them where they are uh, in their arts education and then building them up from there. Um, I think one of the things that we can always do better at is, is seeking out people that are interested in engaging with art and, and, again, kind of meeting them where they are with that. Uh, making ourselves more accessible, making ourselves more present uh, in sort of the day-to-day -day lives of, of Indianapolis people that are, are interested in engaging with art. And so we're always seeking out new opportunities to, to reach out to people and, and share this great art experience with them. That just makes me think of a, a kind of a side question. But what do you think is one of the biggest barriers to someone coming to a place like the Indianapolis Art Center and gaining more of that arts education or, or arts opportunity to engage with art and, and have it in their daily life? I mean, undoubtedly one of the biggest hurdles that we have, it's also one of the best assets that we have is our, just our location. Being in Broad Ripple, it's a beautiful location. When people do get here, it's um, so relaxing, so enjoyable. We have the arts park that backs onto the White River and touches the Monon. I mean, it's a really great location, but uh, especially during traffic times, it can be a real pain to get up here. I have um, both my wife and several friends have taken classes, and the number one complaint that I hear is traffic is a nightmare trying to get to the art center. And we're hopeful that when things like the red line come in, um, that can really help benefit um, our accessibility and help people get here easier. Um, but location is always a barrier, uh, regardless of where you are. So what I'm hearing is that you're really looking forward to people bringing scooters to the art center. <laughs> hey, scooters are great. You know, um, I saw I was downtown uh, earlier this week and uh, saw them whizzing all over the place, and it was it's great to see people moving and getting about. Um, you know, the more you travel, the more you experience other people, and and the more knowledgeable you come about your your surroundings, and you know that's in and of itself an experience that's worthwhile, and so. Um, yeah, the more that uh, Indianapolis can access uh, mobility and give people the opportunity to explore this city, this great city in its entirety.